Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we are back with another episode of Daggerfall. If you missed last episode or you want to be caught up on what is going on, then guys, we are questing for the Temple of RK. And guys, um, a couple of things to note. Just, uh, I mean, you might already notice one change. I did finally get the, um, the clock mod that I have. I finally got it to just display uh, the time. I think it is a little bit more unobtrusive than the other one. I thought it took up a little bit too much space and was a little bit too uh, gaudy, for lack of a better word. Um, I also uh, w just saw the option in uh, uh, Daggerfall Unity uh, to make the uh, icons that um, that uh, show the uh, effects that we have smaller. So there they are. You can see them. They're a little bit smaller. It's just kind of like a little preference thing because they're, they're kind of like gigantic. But anyway, I did that and uh, I did those two things, but also, and it's probably the biggest change, um, it's really the only gameplay change that I made, um, is that I, I, uh, I, there's another Daggerfall Unity change. I enabled smaller dungeons, smaller dungeons. So apparently, I mean, I don't, I don't really understand a whole lot about, because we know that the dungeons are randomly generated, right? But apparently this makes the dungeons be generated in and just be smaller. So I think that that's going to help with the pacing a lot better. Uh, and, and it's going to, I think it's going to help with my enjoyment a lot better. So hopefully we won't be bogged down and, and be stuck in dungeons for like hours. You know, hopefully we'll be, uh, you know, hopefully dungeons will become more of like, you know, 15 or 20 minute affairs. And, um... I don't know. Maybe that's a bad thing. Um, you know, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Now, another thing that I want to do. One, th Whoa, yeah, sorry, guys. I, I guess I should have been doing this. I want to go to the Fighters Guild because um, we do have... Oh, gosh. I don't want to wait. Um, I don't want to... Oh, I did, I did change the loiter time to four hours, so we can actually loiter four hours now because we always have to loiter three hours and then another hour which is irritating, but we have a sword to pick up here, I think. Uh, repairs, yes, okay, so this is done. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, but what I wanna do, uh, if you recall uh, an episode or two ago, I basically lost an episode because I ended up being made a, branded a criminal and uh, you know that, that really sucked. I, I, didn't, I did not enjoy that, I did not enjoy that. So I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, what can we do? What can we do about this situation? What can we do about this situation? Um, and I was thinking, well, how about we operate in, we just operate in a different area. Um, and to that, so to that extent or to that, uh, end, you know, I'm thinking, you know, how about we go over to, uh, you know, I was kind of joking about it before. How about we go over to Dwinn? I was, uh, you know, and, and, you know, this, this place seems like it might be interesting. And it was another thing that I was kind of speculating on. I don't know about it. And, and, you know, maybe this place isn't going to be good. Maybe we should go further away because maybe it's a proximity based thing. If, if this is indeed the case, um, because we've been doing really well against the stuff that we've been fighting, maybe other areas like for instance, Dwinin or this Sata. Kalam or over here, maybe these places have a little bit more powerful creatures, more higher, uh, some higher level dungeons, and we'll be able to get better gear. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to travel to Dwinin, go to one of these, you know, nice towns. Um, I don't know. Should we, let's just go to, yeah, someplace central. How about Oxbourne in Dwinin? We travel here. It's going to take us 14 days. Let's just go recklessly. It'll, ta it'll only take us seven days to get there. That's not even bad. Um, and um, and then we'll we'll <laughs> and then we'll be there. Uh, although once we get there, we're going to have to look for a temple of RK because I want to keep working that. So we'll have to ask around, find a temple of RK that's in Oxbourne. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, well maybe I got maybe I should have a. Uh, it's 5.08, that's 5.08 in the morning, so let's go ahead and just loiter for four hours. And that will get us to the morning. And that's just fine and dandy, and then we can start asking around for a 
temple. Although that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the map of Rooney here. It looks like that might be a temple over there. We've got a fighter's guild, and then I'm not sure what this would be. Possibly a mage's guild. Um, it might be one of those knightly orders, though. Um, so it's it's a decent-sized town, but not, like, huge. But anyway, let's find a person and then just ask. I don't know, guys. We're in a completely new area here. Let's have a look. See, we're just a common citizen. Of course, that's what, we've been operating in Daggerfall for forever, and we're a common citizen, so... Good morrow, my good sir. Good morrow. Uh, local temples. Okay, so this is Julianos uh, here. But that's not what we're looking for. So what we want is a previous list, a regional Temple of Arche. They have one in Singtree, Sing Singage Dairy, Singage Dairy, Cathvale. So let's type in Sing, and that should give us Singtree and Singage Dairy, and then Cathvale. Let's see if I can remember that. So. Let's go to uh, find Sing. So we've got Sing Tree. That's not too far from us. And then uh, Singage Singage Dairy. That one looks. That's like darker brown. So that's going to be even worse. And then the other one was what Cath something. Oh, I can't remember if it was Cathvale or Cathbridge. I think it was Cathbridge. Okay, so, no, we want to go to... I think we want to go to Singtree. So let's go to Singtree. And we'll go cautiously this time. Alright guys, now we have <laughs> effectively uh, relocated here. I think that this is going to be it down here. And, um, yeah, we'll start operating out of this area uh, and still um, work towards our goal of getting, um, of getting that, uh, yeah, potion, potion maker, potion maker, which is what we, is what we want, what we need. Well, how full, uh, you know what, guys, we actually really need to go to a store, don't we? Let's check this store out over here. The first class armor, he's open at 9. Let's go ahead and loiter for two hours. Uh, we've, we've got to unload some stuff, guys. Uh, sturdy shops cobbled together out of scrap lumber hold the shop wares. The items are sound and functional, but little more than that. All right. Good morrow. Uh, what do we got? Let's see. Sell basically all this crap. Uh, sell, 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 sell. I'm going to say that for every one of these items, guys. Get ready. Uh, we don't need two pairs of Dwarven Greaves. Because I really, I don't think that they... Oh, wait, no, those are almost new. Okay, well, hold on a second then. <laughs> I guess we will hang on to a second pair. I guess maybe we will need two pairs of armor. Um, I don't think that that's really the case, but anyway, that's going to be seven grand. Um, yeah, so just sell that. Yeah, he's not giving us... It's not bad. It's not bad. Now let's see what he's got. Nothing great there. Nothing great there. Ooh. Oh, wait, that, oh, we have a left. We have a Dwarven left one under that cloak there. That would have been nice. That would have been a nice little upgrade there for our, uh, we need a right one and uh, uh, a Curus. That's what we need. Yeah, they don't have any, they don't have anything else, but nice, um, Nice for us to get rid of um, some of that some of that extra junk there. So we are here, and we are ready to ready to proceed. Okay, what is so? What all services do we have here? First, yeah, we do want to do we do want to do that training. 
Uh, that's the that's the old Daedra Summoner. Let's see what potions we have available. Purification. I wonder what that is. It's very expensive. I'm wondering... I'm going to go with... I'm going to get the Cure Poison again, because I do like having those available. I, I mean, I guess let's buy that too. Why not? I mean, we've got money, guys. Um, and I guess we will just cast it if we... Um, if we run into a um, uh, situation... What does he have? He's got make potions, which we don't have the sufficient rank. And then this guy's got buy soul gems, which we also do not have the sufficient rank. So they don't have uh, cure disease. We don't have any diseases. So that, that's really the only stuff uh, that we have available. But let's, let's go ahead and train. We do wish to train. We definitely wish to train. We need to train all the time. We're still at, what, 50? We need five more to go up in the Mages Guild. Gotta remember that. Okay, so let's go ahead and save, get a quest, and let's get a quest. Okay, a citizen of Sing Singtree has requested the temple's aid in curing oneself of lycanthropy. Okay, guys, this is interesting. This is the one that I ended up getting in trouble for, right? This one bit me in the butt. So the question is, do I take it? We're in a different place now. I mean, we just got here. I mean, we could do it and completely nuke our relationship with this place or see if we say no what happens do we want to do it just to find out I mean it could be just a little waste of time but I guess let's do it because I want to find out I want to find out so let's go ahead and do it and we'll go and we'll say no okay good find Alaborian Hearthfield in the Ashfield residence to the northwest of here that's our po poor infected soul our poor unfortunate soul Okay, Alaborian, so the Ashford Residence, Alaborian Hearthfield General, the, I mean, we got tons of residences here. I wonder why we know all these other ones. I guess, tell us all these other ones as well. Map, but we need to go to the Ash, uh, the Ashfield one. I wonder why we know those other ones. Like, why would we, why would we need to know those? That seems weird. You know... Ours is not to ask why, guys. I mean, it, it seems like, it seems very strange that they would just give you a quest that there's just like absolutely no way to do anything other than just completely nuke yourself. <laughs> but that being said, guys, I mean, worst case scenario, we do the quest and if we're criminals, then this place is just dead to us. Um, okay, we are going into the Ashford residence. That is this one. Is that correct? Yes. You may enter. Indeed, I may enter. And I will enter. it. Okay, let's see if they're upstairs. They're never upstairs. Ooh, what's all this stuff? Whoa! Okay, that stuff is nothing. That's nothing. They're never upstairs. I need to stop trying. I, I have this dr I have a dream that one day they'll be upstairs. Greetings, the Order of Arcay. Welcome to my abode. I've done most of the footwork to find a cure for to my fearsome condition, and now the last step remains. I lack the courage to do it myself, and need your help. Let us be off to Gallimore. We must find Gondorian Hearthston. Hearthston who holds the key to my cure. That is what the alchemist told me, at least. Okay. So, yeah, so far, guys, it's basically the same. If you miss that one, uh, then, well, yeah, I mean, this is basically the same. So, uh, let's see, where, where do they want us to go? Um, who lives in Gallowmore? Okay. Find Gallowmore. Oh, Gallowmore's big. We do wish to travel there. Let's travel cautiously, I guess. Uh, begin. Our restoration skills improved, guys. 51. Guys, we're only four away. 
Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can find someone here. It's 11 in the morning, so, I mean, I guess it's raining, so maybe there's not going to be a lot of people. I guess we could ask this guard or this person here. Um, General the Wickwing Residence. Oh, first person marks it on my map. Where is this place? Yes, it's got to be as far away from where we're going as possible. Or where we are as possible. I love that guy's... I mean, hold on a second, guys. You gotta see this guy's face. Look at that. I, that dude's intense. <laughs> dude's intense. Dude's loaded for bear. <laughs> Not screwing around. Alright, where, whereabouts are... Oh my god, this place is huge. This is a big old honking place, guys. This might be the biggest city we've been to. I think this might be the biggest city that we've been to. Maybe. It's at least as big as uh, Sentinel. It's big. It's definitely bigger than Bergwall. Naked woman statue. Very tasteful. Artistic, if you will. Is this it? The Wickwing Residence. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and save this nonsense. Okay, you may enter. All right, let's look around for our quarry. Ah, okay. So here we go, guys. Okay, so um, we'll read this really quick. But anyway, so okay, this is so this is what you have to do. You get this kid to drink this. All right, so we went we went over this ad nauseum in a previous video. So he says, pointing to this vial, then get ready to run because things are going to get ugly. Now, I mean, I guess alternatively we could say yes, and then we could actually try to run. I didn't try to run in the other one, so we could drink it, and then we could just get out of here. Um, so we could like, well, we could try that. Maybe we try that. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, you find Al Labrin Arth sobbing with relief. I could feel it the moment of the transformation. I knew it. I'm free by Debella. My life is mine once more. Thank you, Acolyte. The Order of Arche has my thanks forevermore. You gain no reward but the hope. The temple has a very firm ally in Sing Tree from now on. Okay, he will no more suffer from lycanthropy, but we're undependable now. We're not a criminal, we're undependable. Uh, the question is, okay, so let's go. I wonder, there was a guard over here. I don't think that they're just gonna attack me now on site. That being said, like people are probably not gonna be very nice to me if I'm undependable. But, Um, well, okay, it, it, it doesn't really matter, because if people, if, if they do start coming after us, we can just leave, right? We can just leave this place. Um, but we're good to go. So, Sing Tree, we're heading to Sing Tree, and it was in the very south of here. This place is so much smaller than the other one. So much smaller. But anyway, yeah, so, that, I guess, was how you're supposed to do that quest. And guys, we need to we need to do something about figuring out how to get our reputation up. Because like we were we did all of that stuff. E everything we ever did in Daggerfall, we never touched our reputation. We never we never made it positive at all. So if you ever do anything to negatively affect your reputation, then you you just nuked it. You just nuked it. You have doubtlessly heard something of our famous libraries. Now you will have access to them. Where the Archpriests have found you worthy of an elevation in rank. Rank. Henceforth, you are adept. And the libraries are yours to explore. Congratulations, Blave. Okay, I'm also going to go check and see if the potion maker will... Okay, no. He's not... He's not having it. So, I guess we need at least one more rank in order to access that. Hopefully, that's the next thing we would get. And then that guy is... 
last. I'm hoping that that's the way that it's going to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and train. Yes. Restoration. You've picked one skill in which your ability already supersedes mine. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So we probably already... Okay, so... Um... Honestly, I guess it would be critical strike. The issue now, guys, is how do we get our restoration up? Where's our critical strike? Is that 45? Um, yeah, that that's going to be an issue, guys. That was one of the main reasons why I was spending all this extra time here. Chameleon form, resist poison. Okay, I don't actually want any of those. Um, our affiliation. Um, our K is now at 34, so we would need to do two quests in order to go up. Uh, but I guess let's go ahead and at least do one. Let's see, get a quest. Get quest. Will you be willing to assist in an exorcism? Yes, I will. Would you? By Pelagius, you have a heart as big as Dwin and Adept. The child's name is Isain Gerhardt. She's a little girl over at the Copperston residence here in Singtree. But the person you'll want to speak with is her guardian, Mordorian Yomhart, over in the Lion and Castle. If, based on what he has to say, you feel that an exorcism is in order, go see Elena Buckingfield in the Kingsmith residence of Baleshire. I'll expect the whole unfortunate affair to be resolved in 35 days, and to see you here then. Good luck, our KB with you. An exorcism. So that seems kind of in line with what we've done. Have, have we done one of these? Guys, honestly, I don't even know. But which residence did they say we needed to go to? Okay. I need to talk with more Dorian Yomhart in the lion and the castle. So we need to find the lion in the castle first. He marks it on the map. Very nice. Lion and castle. Way over there. Nor Norwest. A norwesterly direction. Um, I don't know, guys. Maybe we made a mistake joining the Order of RK. I, I'm not sure. But at least, you know, we, I, I feel like, you know, what we probably should have done, and honestly, if I was starting from scratch, or if I was giving someone advice in terms of playing, unless there is a way, and there probably is, that I don't know about, like, so unless you're doing quests that specifically are, like, directly affecting your regional reputation in a positive manner, then you should, this is it, okay, the lion in the castle, then you should, um, so, like, unless you're directly working to increase your regional reputation, then you should probably work in one of the regions that you don't really care about. Because then if you accidentally ruin that region's reputation, you can just be like, all right, I'm just leaving this place and never coming back. Because that's what how I feel about this place. I don't really care. Um, oh, actually, I didn't even check those guys' names. Are you, uh, what's her name? No, you're not. Wait, that, that, that actually might have been him. Okay, you're from the Order of Arcade. RK, thank Debella you're here. They say you can get to Elana Buckingfield, the exorcist in the Kingsmith residence, and she has some special talisman for possessions like this. I can't convince Elana Bucky Buckingfield to get me the talisman myself, but someone like you with the authority of the Order of RK could. Go to Baleshire and talk to him. Um, him? Elana Buckingfield is a him? Okay, I know you can convince him. Okay. So we're going to Baleshire. We're going to Baleshire. Okay. All right, find Bale, whoops, Shire. Baleshire, not very far, guys, not very far. Okay, so let's go. And what, this place actually looks pretty sizable too. 
Jeez. Okay, where where are all the people at? All right, we are looking for Milady, the Kingsmith resident. These people are very helpful, even though I'm undependable. How about that? How about that? I'm, you know, you know, maybe the people in this area are just more polite. That would be an interesting thing, and I don't, I don't think that they implement it. Maybe they did, guys. Maybe they did. But you know how? I, and I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to mention regions or anything like that. I'm not going to mention any regions. But it does seem like if you've, if you've traveled much, it does seem like there are some places that you go to, perhaps different places in the country, um, or even different countries themselves where people are more polite than others you know that one, and uh that would have been a, a pretty interesting thing uh well dang it to um uh to actually uh implement but you know guys they 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 did so much in this that so uh, he said him but i bet that's her but i don't know you know you have the this guy you know i i you know they said him they said him so i'm gonna go with this guy no, nope. but although I love that face, look at that. He's <laughs> like <laughs> just this crazy old coot, a Laborian Kingcroft. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry, Blave, but I can't ju uh, I can't give the cal I can't I can't read, but I can't give talisman to just anyone who suspects they know a victim of possession. It's far too rare and expensive. You're going to have to at least see the child before I agree to parting with the talisman. Daggummit. So I gotta go back and check the, uh, the child out. Okay, so let me have a look at the log here. Um, Elena Buckins for some special blah 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 blah. Okay. The guardian of Usain Gerhardt. Wait a second, okay. Tristric Hearthstone of Singtree wants me to see a little girl named Aysen Gerhardt. Okay, we gotta go back. Fortunately, it wasn't very far away, right? Okay, where's Singtree? Where the heck is Singtree, guys? Is it down here? Here it is. Okay. Travel. Okay, now we need to find um, whatever residence that was in the Copperstone residence. The Copperstone residence. <laughs> We're just traveling all over this place. All right, give up the goods, guy. I'd help you if I could. Well, man. That's where that's our undependable man. It's finally caught up with us. Okay, well that guy's nice. The Copperson resident. Oh, hey guys, it's right there. Right there, somewhere around here. How about that? Okay. Voice hollers. It's open. All right. Let's go ahead and see this person. See how possessed they are. In our professional opinion. Let's go ahead and save it before before all hell literally literally breaks loose. Oh, she's cute. Gruh, you collie-eyed mortal greel, I would open all your veins and swim in your blood, steaming. They call me rat they call me retard red. <laughs> That's an unfortunate name. <laughs> the liquor of cat droppings. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see. So, I'm just wondering. I don't know who Retard Dread is, but that was the name. The girl is possessed, mad, or the best. At okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, I, I do think that we've done something like this before. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So now we've got to go back to wherever it was. Was it like a Bale something or another? Bale... Bale... Shire? I think that's right. Okay. Go. And then... Kingsmith Residence. Way over there. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. Hopefully... <laughs> I'm actually wanting... 
um, I'm actually wanting them to give me a dungeon because I want to see if this smaller dungeons uh, thing, you know, A, works. You know, hopefully it didn't, like, break my game. Um, and, you know, B, you know, uh, I, you know, I'm just excited to do it. Um, you know, I, I, I do like um, the dungeon crawls. I mean, I, I, to a certain extent. I mean, I, I don't like... I don't like getting lost in them. I don't like it when they're so labyrinthine that you um, get lost in them. But I do think that they're exciting. I mean, I, I like, I like, um, was this it? Which one was it? It's somewhere over here. I thought we were right on top of it. Um, I mean, I like that 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 old genre of it. Um, I mean, I, I actually tried to load up. I mean, I, I used to like playing, uh, you know, some of the some of the older ones. I mean, I, I loaded up uh, Might and Magic Six, uh, Mandate of Heaven, and uh, I, it was a little bit too aged for me. But I mean, I did like those games. Okay, uh, Ratardred. You said Gerhardt did mention the name Ratardred. Well. If this possession is a sham, it is at least a well-researched one. Here, then, is the talisman. Just hold it with you when you next speak to the child. But beware, the Daedra Yesen Gerhardt mentioned is a Daedroth of great power. When the exorcism is complete, it will leave her and appear elsewhere in the Copperstone residence. Be ready for a battle when it does. Good luck. Blave Debella be with you. I don't know if we've done this or not. Like, because I don't think that, that, I don't think that's happened. Like it, it, it like seems both familiar and not because it seems like it seems like a lot of these quests are somewhat similar, but I don't think we've done this. I don't think we've done this. Or I guess we're gonna find out when that thing appears. Now, a, if a Daedra appears, guys, I don't know if we're gonna be equipped to fight it. I, I know I, I do say it all the time. We've got the pants. We have the pants, and those that may be what we end up needing. Um, we also have the uh, we all we also have our trusty uh, ebony dagger. Uh, whoops, which I'm not trying to equip, but we, we we can put it in our inventory at the very least. Um, but what I was trying to do was look at the map, and the Copperstone residence is right there. Okay, guys, man, this one has been just a lot of moving around, hasn't it? Copperstone residence, where are you? Should be right around here. We should be right here. Okay, here we go, guys. This is for all the meat and potatoes. Where were where were you? In here somewhere. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, damn the dragon, death be damned, I feel so much better. Mordorian Yomhart told me that the talisman would help us, and he was right. Oh, thank you, kind adept. I'll keep this, this talisman for my protection. Goodbye. Okay, so there's going to be a... Maybe not. I don't see anything. Let's see if there... Uh, exercise the Daedric spirit from the child. I think I don't see anything that appeared. I think we did it. I don't think anything is here to fight. I mean, there's not. There's nothing else in this house. Yeah. Okay. Fine with me. Okay, so we, we did that one, and now we can go back to the Order of RK. And turn that nonsense in. That one was a little bit convoluted, wasn't it? I guess, I guess maybe maybe it was maybe there's just a chance that something comes out. I don't know. But it didn't come out, so... I guess we win. Uh, yeah, not talking to me. 
we didn't finish it. So, I... Whoops, no, we're not gonna rest. We're gonna go... back there, I guess, guys. And... It would probably be quicker for me just to load the game and try it again. But, um... We'll see if there's a monster in there. I don't know what's happening. It might be... It might be quicker for me just to... Try it again. Because that dude is not... Let's make sure we got... Okay, so I don't know this. The girls matter. Okay. Ask me to go to the Kingsmith residence. Exercise the Daedric spirit from the child. I just don't think it worked. I mean, it, she said it worked, but it didn't. It didn't summon the spirit. Let's let's try uh, let's try going in again. And just re re trying. That. Yeah. I don't know what it did, but I think it's broken. No, I do not wish to look through the private property. Um, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing in here. It's a small house. Guys, that blows. We're just getting, we're just getting crushed here. I don't know what else to do. Like, there's not another way into this house, is there? Like, another way that... Maybe, maybe if we rest, let's loiter for an hour. See if something attacks us. No. Rest. For a while, not allowed to rest in this room. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um... I, guys, I gotta admit, I'm not thrilled with the result here, because this was a lot of, uh, a lot of work for, not a lot of payoff. I mean, I, I realize, guys, that bugs, bugs are things that happen, but, uh, this dude will not talk to us. Straight up won't do it. Um, so, I mean, I guess... And here's what sucks, guys, is, um, that quest is gonna enter a fail state. Even though we did it, as far as I can tell, successfully... Um, like, are, are we supposed to go back to, maybe more Dorian Yomhart? I, I doubt it. That would be silly. That would be silly. We talked to the we talked to the guardian and like, hey, yeah, we did it. No, I don't I don't think so. 
I don't think so, guys, but I mean, that's the only other thing I can think of. Apart from, yeah, I mean, this just falling on its face. Hey, you were supposed to be... Good day, Blave. You're probably looking for that guard, Mordorian Yomhart, who slipped out of here after boasting about stealing some kind of talisman from the Order of Arcade. Oh my gosh! How about that? If you have 50 gold pieces to spare, friend, I could let you know where Mordorian Yomhart went. What do you say? Sure. Nice doing business with you, Blave. You'll find that guard over in the Moorsmith residence. Okay, guys, how about that? I did not realize that was the way that we were going there. Okay, so General Moorsmith Residence. Guys, we've got like a million residences here. Uh, Moorsmith Residence. Now, this quest is kind of interesting. I mean, uh, I definitely, it definitely took me a little while to, to reason that one out, that's for sure. Okay, where is this? Oh, a house for sale. I don't think we want to buy a house here. I don't think I can afford one, that's for sure, but... The School of Julianos. There's a Master Heart residence. There's a lot of residences here. Okay, dude, where are you? Whoa, a naked lady. They're having some fun in here, I'll tell you what. Um... Guys, I think I've been had. I think I've been had. Okay, so hold on a second. Gwenina Yomston, a blonde strumpet over at the Lion in the Castle, told me for 50 gold pieces that Mordorian Yomhart ran to the Moorsmith residence after Usain Gerhart stole the talisman from me. The possession was obviously a scam, and Elena Buckingfield and Tristeric Hartson will want the talisman back. Uh... This isn't good. Was that? Was there anything up here? Oh, dude! Did not see that. Don't hurt me, Mordorian Yomhart hands you the talisman and flees. That's pretty funny. Okay, well I got the t the talisman. Okay, so um, and Elena Buckingfield and Tristric Harst. Okay, so maybe I can take it back to just uh, Tristric or whatever his name is. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. All right, guys. Kind of a kind of a neat little um, a neat, neat little twist there. Definitely, uh, definitely not clear. Uh, you know, in terms of the log there, you had to use your you had to use your noodle there. You had to use your noodle. Not something that I am. Uh, not something that I'm accustomed to, if you if you catch the old grift. Think RK that situation's resolved? You can never really tell from the start whether an exorc exorcism is really merited or not. You've done well, Blave. Accept this scarab as a small token of our thanks for your efforts. Okay, that is pretty much useless, dude. But I'll take it. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this as get a quest. Uh, also, though, I'm going to get some more training in Critical Strike because there's nothing else here that I need. Um, and let's go ahead and get a quest. It falls upon us to investigate that uh, the claims of Elizana Kingwing that she has seen the face and heard the words of RK. Perhaps you have time to assist in this inquiry. That's actually pretty interesting, but I, I really want to go. <laughs> I want to go do some fighting. I don't know if that's what this is, but let's check it out. Okay, good. We've already sent one of one of the temple, Edwival Wickford, to the desacralized ruins of the King Wing cabin, where Elizana Kingwing asserts that she first witnessed the miracle. If Ed Edwival Wickford needs assistance, I will send for you. In the meanwhile, I want you to find some more secular information on Elizano Kingwing by asking around in her hometown, Wicksmith Manor, a loyal cleric of ours, Mordard Morton. We'll meet you in the Queen's Priest. I want to see evidence of the true nature of Alizana Kingwing in no more than 42 days. I would leave immediately. A great RK bless your enterprise adept. Okay, so 
let's do that. Actually, let's go ahead and check real quick on, on the potions that are available. Stamina, healing, and orc strength. I actually want the healing and the orc strength. Uh, let's buy those. Um, yeah. And uh, where did he say I needed to go to? Um, hometown Wicksmith Manor. Wicksmith Manor. Find Wicksmith. Wicksmith Manor. Yes, take me there. Hello, my lady. Um, let's see. Well, mm, oh, well, you don't have an answer for me? I mean, it's obviously right here. Okay. So, I guess this is probably the dude that I need to talk to. Ah, hello, Blave. Welcome to Wicksmith Manor. The whole town's in a buzz about that young Elizana King Wing, but she isn't even here. She's in the Savage Goblin Lodge at a tavern called the Fox and Dungeon, working on a new tract about what this mysterious spirit of ruins of the King Wing Cabin had to say about the moral disintegration of the Order of RK. Here's a copy of that original tractate, so you know what this Elizana King Wing's all about. Dangerous character from what I have seen so far. I'm communicating with Perister Moresmith, a well-to-do merchant in Oxwold, with whom Elizana Kingswing had some kind of relationship. It wouldn't be a bad idea for you to go to Oxwold and see if you can't persuade him to talk to us. Hope all this is helpful information, Blave. Okay, so we're going... Oh, man. So all we're doing, guys, is just going all over the freaking world and uh, looking for people. I mean, you know, hey, guys... Um, that's cool too, but I did want to see how our settings um, affected affected things. Okay, so yeah, let's go. Uh, we're going cautiously. Um, this is such a small province that we can go basically anywhere in like a day. Um, okay, so we are looking for... I don't even remember what the dude's name was. Um, Perister Moorsmith. Good sir. Do you know a Perister Moresmith? He must be in the Masterford residence. Thank you for marking it on my map. It is northeast of here. There we go. It is a very humble abode. Uh, that must be him. Whatever they say, I never knew that it is on a king wing. Tell Mordard Morton he has the wrong well-to-do merchant. Let's talk with him again. I can't. Well, <laughs> so I gotta go back to the dude. Oh my gosh! <laughs> These guys. Oh man. Oh. Okay. Um, tells me that Elizana Kingwing is in the Fox and Dungeon in the Savage Goblin Lodge. I mean, should we just go talk to Elizana Kingwing? Um, okay. What... I guess let's go back to... Hold on a second. I, I'm to ask about her in her hometown, Wicksmith Manor. Okay, let's go back to Wicksmith Manor, for crying out loud. Wicksmith. Wicksmith Manor. Yeah, let's go back and tell that guy, and then we'll go to the, the whatever-the-heck lodge. There's the Queen's Priest over here. Like the Order of Arcade really sends you all over tarnation looking for these people. Okay, this guy will not talk to you anymore. Just straight up won't talk to you. So we're going we're going straight to the, the heart of the matter, guys. Um, that means we are going um, to the uh, Savage Goblin Lodge. 
Wait. Actually, I don't know which one the actual place is. Is she in... Is the fox in the dungeon the name of the... The place, or is it the Savage Goblin Lodge? I don't know. Let's check. Okay, Savage... Savage Goblin Lodge. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming this is our... Yes, this is where we're going. How they came to persecute me, abandon your unholy abuse, hound of the Order of Arcae. I am under protection of my god and the Baron of Dwinin. Oh my gosh, now what? Mordard tells me that Ellen's down at King Wings in the Fox and Dungeon, but it might be a good idea to Harrister Warsmith. Mordard Morton doesn't know the relationship between the two, but it's worth investigating. Well, no, it wasn't worth investigating. Um. Uh, no. <laughs> Although, maybe if you do some of those quests, maybe your regional reputation would go up. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, maybe we're just supposed to wait? Now, I don't know. Because, like, at this particular moment, guys, we don't have, uh, like, any other leads. So we went there, and we talked to this guy, but he won't talk to us anymore. Maybe he will now that we talk to her. But yeah, I don't, I do not get it. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, maybe, maybe you need a higher, um, like a higher personality and that guy would have talked to us. And then, you know, just like you, if you go down there and you fail that role, boom, it's just over, you know, it's just over. That might be what it is. Mord Mordard Morton is waiting for me there to give me further instructions. No, that's already happened. So, I mean, there's really nothing else. I mean, unless we want to go back there. Fine, what is it? Wicksmith? Yeah, Wicksmith Manor. We can go back there and try talk to him one more time, but there's nothing else I can really... I mean, I don't think that he's going to do it anymore. I don't think he's going to talk to us. Yeah, so we're... we're... And it doesn't tell us the name of the... Um... It doesn't tell us the name of the dungeon... Tristeric Hearthson of Singtree has sent me to a... Uh, yeah, okay, so I've got that, but it doesn't tell me the name of the dungeon that that one guy went to, so I wouldn't even be able to go to the dungeon. I guess let's go back to uh, Singtree and tell that tell the dude that we have no idea what the heck, uh, you know, we've, we've, you know, reached a dead end here, and we need, uh, you know, we need to go after... Um, we need to go to the dungeon. You know, because that's really all that's that's really all that's left for us is we need to go to the we need to go to the heart of the matter. Because as far as I can, guys, as far as I can tell, that's really all that's left to us. That's all that's left to us. We are, um, I mean, apart, apart from like very slowly climbing our way up this order of RK, we're not really getting a whole lot out of this, are we? Yeah, this guy's not going to talk to us, so 
I do wish to get some training in critical strike. Um, you can't you can't rest in here, can you? No, you can't. Okay, so. Guys, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess. I, I mean, I, I, I hate to do this, but I think that that's where we're going to wrap up on this one. Um, and, uh, you know, I got to be honest. I think what we're going to do, <laughs> I think what we're going to do is um, sail. Uh, well, I mean, you know, we maybe we could go to this like Urveus or something like that. But maybe what we're going to do is like sail across to, um, uh, you know, maybe like this lane land. Or possibly uh, the Dragon Tail Mountains. Uh, the reason I maybe wouldn't go to the Dragon Tail Mountains, although it does sound epic, but like everything is so far apart here, so we would be spending a little more time traveling. But I don't know. Maybe it's cause this is the Dragon Tail Mountains, so it does sound kind of epic. Yeah, maybe we'll go to the Dragon Tail Mountains because just because it sounds cool. So in the next episode, guys, we're gonna plan to go to the Dragon Tail Mountains. <laughs> but in this one, I mean we. I guess we, I guess we climbed the ranks, um, a little bit. Um, we got up to, uh, 39. So one more reputation, uh, you know, one more thing that we do is going to get us up, uh, to that next, um, you know, that next little bump. And that's going to be, I mean, I guess that's going to be good. Um, but yeah, for right now, I mean, we're just we're just kind of treading water here, the, and these these quests are just killing me. They're killing me. We're not getting, um, we are not uh, we're not getting it. We're not getting it. I don't know what we we haven't done here. The thing is though, um, unless unless um, my my hesitation, I guess, with leaving is that he's going, you know, he might, like if I sail across the ocean or something like that, he might then say, hey, you know, I need you to go to that dungeon and check it out. Because he said he might need that. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what we, what we could potentially do is um maybe go to one of the um you know one of the big cities do like a mages guild one mages guild quest to like bump us up one rank in the mages guild um or go to that other what was the other one sing it was um it was the singage dairy we could go to singage dairy where there was another rk we could do the other rk quest we could do an rk quest located there while we are waiting for that guy and if he doesn't do it by the time that's over if he doesn't call us to action by the time that one's over then we could just leave uh but the thing is if we fail this <laughs> if we fail this quest then we're gonna lose reputation so it's actually counterproductive but guys i guess we gotta we gotta we gotta take our licks sometime i, I guess you know uh, but that's that's how it goes but anyway guys um you know it was uh it was mostly a uh, it was mostly a role playing uh, episode here, but um, you know those can those can be fun too. It was a little bit confusing. It was a little bit confusing, but often this game is often this game is. You really just have to kind of learn as you go, and um, you know I think in a lot of aspects we're getting we're getting a little bit better. We're we're figuring out a lot more of how things work as we go, um, but we still have an awful lot uh, to learn and a lot awful lot to figure out. But, um, you know, I think, I think we're going to get there. <laughs> I still think we have a tremendous amount of this game left, you know, before we can be like, Hey, you know, we're, we, uh, we did it. We finished the, uh, the main story. Cause I mean, there, there's an unlimited amount of stuff to actually do. And, um, you know, but I think that what I'm doing is I want to get to a point where I feel like we're powerful enough and, um, you know, good enough to be like, you know, I want to press forward to the main story. And then when we're finished with the main story, I'm going to be like, all right, it's probably time to move on to something else because, well, there's <laughs> there's more games that uh, that I that that I want to play than I could possibly play in ten lifetimes. But that's a 
<laughs> that's a topic for another time. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we're going to be picking up right here next time.